Hello, my name is Matt. I'm with PNG Technology out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we'll be doing an example conversion on a Generac RS8000E. Uh, we'll be demonstrating a propane conversion and a natural gas on this. If you're interested in this, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648 and we'll get started on this. Okay, first what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here. Set that to the side, pull out our filter. Now you got two hoses over here. Just pull out your breather, set that to the side. Go ahead and pull that to the side. Get a little metal plate there, get rid of that. Go ahead and remove the bolts from here. Okay. And there's one on the back side here. Okay, go ahead and pull it off. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install our slim adapter on here that we've got the carburetor exposed. So just go ahead and slip that over. Put your gasket on. Go ahead and put your cover back on. Get that started back. And remember you got your nut on the back. Okay. Go ahead and put this down. Okay, install our plate back in here. Air cleaner. Put your cover back on. Our hoses back up that we pulled off the air cleaner. And that step is done. It's that simple. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and install our gasoline shutoff valve. This does not have one on it, so this way we can shut our fuel off for the gasoline side when we run propane or natural gas. So just go ahead and make sure you have no gas in your unit because you will get gas spilled on you here. So go ahead and cut the line here. Okay. We'll supply you these clips here. Go ahead and slide them over each side. Get that prepared for you. Okay. Let me go ahead and install our shutoff valve. Pull our clamps back down. Okay, that step is done. Okay, now what we're going to do, since we've got everything else installed, we're going to go ahead and mount our regulator assembly. Now, I've went all around this. The best spot for this is going to be up here. Okay, if we go down lower to the frame, your wheel kit gets in the way, and this will be a real nice install up there. So what we're going to do is go ahead from the corner of this frame of the bracket, you're going to go ahead and mark over an inch and a half. Okay, then from there, our center to center, where your mounting point is to here to here, is five and three quarters. So we'll go ahead and mark over five, three quarter, and then I'm going to come up one inch. Okay, so we'll get our mark there, and one inch here, and go ahead, and I'll, I'll, I always use a pre-punch, it makes so the drill don't slide. Okay, get that marked. All right, and then what I do before I drill this, you can drill them out 5 16 Your gas tank is behind here. If you go through with this, you're not going to be very happy. So what I use, a piece of steel or a block of wood, okay, 
Let's go ahead and get this started. It's real thin too, so it doesn't take much. Okay, now that we got our holes drilled, we'll go ahead and mount our regulator in here and supply all the hardware with that. So go ahead and put your flat washer on back here, lock washer, put your nut on there. Okay, we'll go ahead and snug those down. Okay, we got them good and snug there. Now the holes, what we did that we come around, that we put on the slim adapter, we'll go ahead and get that installed down there. All right, it's as simple as that. Our next step, will be running it. Okay, now that we got our installation done on our Generac, I wanted to just show you a little pointer here of what I discovered on this. Now this is basically, there's no key on this. So this is your on and off, this is your start, everything here. So it's in the stop position over here. Now for gasoline, you'll go all the way over to your start side and then you can push it in, okay, to start it on gasoline. When you're in propane mode, Make sure your shutoff valve's off. And then you're gonna to wanna to turn this up just to, before you click on the run. And that will allow the choke to stay open. So I wanted to explain that to you and now we'll hook up the propane source. Okay, now that I showed you how to start it on that side, what we're gonna do is go ahead. We hooked up our propane line to our little 20 pounder. We give you enough hose here where you can hook up to a 100 pounder with it. So what we're gonna do now is on the back of this unit, you have a primer button, okay? You'll have to start that initial when you go to your start. So this is gonna be the only adjustment you have at your power elbow. In is lean, out is rich. This is a very sensitive adjustment. So what I'll do is loosen the nut up there, keep it loose where you can spin this just in case you gotta keep it going feathering. Um, and we'll go ahead and turn our propane on. Come back here, hit our primer button, keep our finger here on this in case we got to keep it going. Hit the button. Now what we'll do is go ahead and lock this down here, and you shouldn't have to mess with anything after that. Now, if you're doing natural gas, obviously you're not gonna have this hook up here. Uh, this will be eliminated here. You'll just take your natural gas from your meter off to this side here. We supply that hose also and the quick connects for natural gas. 
uh, which are ex excessive flow three quarter inch now. So we got those special for them. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to pngtechnologies.com, go under the Generac page, scroll down till you see this unit. We appreciate you watching this video and uh, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.